Welcome to the Zella Game University channel. This video's topic is undercut machining. So in this video, we're going to use a lollipop, but essentially what the what we're going to see in this video could be used with any type of tool. It could be used for a, a barrel shape tool, it could be a lollipop cutter, it could be a keyway cutter or a T-slot cutter, whatever you want to call it. Any shape that essentially can do an undercut. But like I said, we'll do with a lollipop because that's the most common used tool. Uh, so let me just show you the part we're working with. It is essentially just a tube or a pipe with kind of an elliptical and, an, uh, and a double-sided chamfer on the inside there. So essentially an undercut. Now I've already gone through and roughed out the center bore there. And I'm going to use a HSS operation because HSS is really the only one inside of SolidCam that automatically does undercut. Uh, you could use a profile tool path. And if you were controlling your lead-in, lead-out, and your positioning of your tool, technically you can machine an undercut. But there's nothing about that that is specifically controlling the undercut. Here with HSS, I'm choosing the surfaces that I like to machine. So this chamfer, this bottom chamfer, and this elliptical face. And the tool will automatically understand that it's doing an undercut. So let's open that up real quick and take a look. So again, we're using an HSS operation. So my faces are just that internal surfaces there. So again, HSS, surface-based toolpath, it's automatically just going to go right to those surfaces. But it understands that that top one, and maybe the little bit of the top of this one, is going to be undercut. It's going to approach it from the underside. Our tool is a lollipop cutter. So we just take a look real quick. I've just come up with a one-inch ball lollipop. And that should give us enough clearance on the wall. So another major thing to keep track of when you're doing any kind of undercut is the shape of your tool. Will that neck be reduced enough that it will not collide with the top wall? Now, this being HSS, I could further control that using a gouge check surface. But again, I have the ability to just use the proper tool, make sure it has the proper neck diameter. In terms of levels, I'm actually using the cylinder option from the clearance area. So rather than approaching the surface from, uh, let's say, a uh, plane in the Z direction, I'm actually changing to a clearance cylinder that is 100 thou radius around Z. So there's actually a clearance cylinder throughout the whole part there. So if there's any retraction motion inside the toolpath, it'll retract inwards rather than upwards in the Z direction. Toolpath parameters, I'm just doing 50 thou. Uh, and for my levels, I further have changed the entry level, uh, the entry safety distance and the traction distance to be very small so that when we actually get a look at the tool path, so again, I'm using a parallel cut constant Z, I've made it very small so that rapid movement just goes from the clearance area, the clearance cylinder in the center there, and it just rapids to the first entry point. If I put any other information there, let's say we just put this back to a half inch. And we'll just recalculate that. That's basically just in the Z direction. So that's why I've reduced it. I wanted to just go right down in my clearance cylinder and just approach right from the clearance cylinder towards the surface. So I'll just put that back to a very small number. I still get my proper approach points, but I'm not allowing the toolpath to do that. I'm actually just uh, doing it myself. Basically just saying start from the clearance area and then go right to, uh, let's say, 10 thou or 100 thou from one hundredth of a thou from the uh, from the in the Z plane. So that's why it kind of looks like it's going directly in there. Now this motion right here comes from our lead in lead out. I've actually put in a orthogonal line. So that is a line that is perpendicular to the surface as it enters in. So that's why it's coming in from that direction. And I've just set that for my first entry and my last exit. So if we take a look at that toolpath in HostCAD, the tool will wrap it down the hole to my, in my clearance cylinder area, approach the part, and begin to machine. And because it's being driven by the surface, it automatically knows that it's going down this way. So it actually will project the toolpath onto the surfaces. So, Again, we're using HSS, so it can really use any shape of tool as well. So if you're using any other un undercutting type of tool, HSS is the best option. Any questions on this or anything else from SolidCam, you can always call us at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can send us your parts or your questions via the ticket system at solidcamsupport.com, or stay tuned for the rest of the videos on the YouTube channel.
Thanks for watching.